everybody, it's Erin from Me Papery, and I've got Michael in the studio as well. Um, so we have just gotten back from our big haul from the once annual St. Vincent de Paul craft supply event. So St. Vincent de Paul is a very popular thrift store or charity shop chain in, well, throughout the state of Wisconsin, really, but um, we live in the Madison area. Um, so once a year they do this big event where they drag out all the craft supplies and tools um, and they make a big deal out of it. So this, that was, it started today. Um, they opened at 10 o'clock. We got there at 1025 and it was pandemonium. Yes. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, we're going to start showing off our haul here. But first... If you enjoy paper crafting, mixed media, thrifty and vintage treasure hunting and any other sort of card making, scrapbooking or what have you crafty fun, you are in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Um, we release videos every week, so you will not want to miss it. We got a ton of stamps. Um, so I got a set of Christmas stamps. I don't know if we can see these with, through the glary packaging. Looks like it might be okay. So this one's kind of like a nice vintage set, $2.50. Most of the stamps are between $1.50, a dollar. You know, some of the other ones were even less than that. So very, very reasonably priced. This one, this one is a... Uh, uh, Tim Holtz Visual Artistry Collection, Stampers Anonymous, um, with some beautiful butterflies and botanicals. Um, that was marked at $1.50. Got some flourishy, swirlishy ones. We thought this set was really cute with some paper clips and binder clips and little push pins and little tag shape. Um, this one's got coffee and tea and stuff. Um, I picked this one up. Um, it's like different, you know, straight line borders and stuff like pearls and oh. little florals and another alphabet. Cause I feel like, you know, can't have too many alphabets <laughs> <laughs> or can you? <laughs> Uh, we'll find out. Um, another one, another uh, set of borders. Um, more swirly, twirly, like circles and bubbles and pearls and stuff. Um, Paper Pretties. There was a ton of these there, and I've never heard of this um, company. Paper Pretties. Mm -hmm. Dot. Dot net. Um, so this one had, has a bird's nest with some eggs in it. And then take time to enjoy the everyday miracles. Bless this nest. Um, I'm guessing there's no place like home, something you, and then a home definition, dictionary definition. Um, let's see. This one, I thought this set was really cool. This one is like, um, shaped but it's script mm. and it's shaped there's a butterfly a dragonfly a darker butterfly a darker rose and then some other random butterflies roses etc um fashion shoes <laughs> and some quotes or sentiments that say walk on the wild side these shoes were made for walking <laughs> A girl can go anywhere with the right pair of shoes and a girl can never have too many shoes. And then something else over here that's mysterious because it's under the price tag. <laughs> but I thought those were kind of cute. Evie uh, probably would like that. Evie, <laughs> Evie might like those, yeah. Um, this set, uh, more birds, more butterflies, more flowers, another frame, a bird's nest. I feel like maybe I have enough of those now. I think so. Um, this one I thought was really kind of cute. These are like uh, one inch squares. 
little stampy things and it came with a with another little acrylic block um which is long and skinny which might help me with all those little border ones that i just that we got so and then this one funky flowers kind of can i get it open uh <laughs> it might be taped shut um but yeah, this has got just kind of doodly, modern, funky flowers and stuff. I kind of bought some of the some of these types of things for maybe working on the jelly plate, yeah. things like that, like texture and that. Um, Mom found these. These were um, like tag shapes and stuff with the lines and, and things on them, but those are really cute. Um, stamp those out and then cut around the shape. Mm -hmm. Um, this one is a set of botanicals. Um, beauty scene is never lost. And then it's got, these almost look like lino cut. Mm. Um, so those are really quite pretty. This is from My Acrylics. Never heard of that. I've never heard of it, but all of the, all of theirs that um, were, they all came in this, um, these nice, these folders, yeah, real nice. More butterflies. More <laughs> <laughs> it's a sickness, I tell you. <laughs> um, but this one also has a hummingbird and a ladybug and a cute little flower. And, you know, sometimes you need um, a more flourishy dragonfly or a butterfly. And sometimes <laughs> you need a more natural looking butterfly or bird or dragonfly. Yes, Aaron, try to justify it. That's so okay. I need, <laughs> <laughs> I need, I need all of them. <laughs> um, this one is travel themed. So we've got our kind of passport and tickets and clocks and airplanes and road signage and things like that so that one's kind of cute and then here's another one by that same that my acrylics um company and this one is kind of like record keeping um more like oriented towards scrapbooking but i thought for junk journaling from a memory keeping um so it's got a tag shape in it, um, and then it's got also just like a journal card with lines, uh, which I always like. It's got some random weird shapes, but then it's got um, a who, what, where, when date, like if you're going to do, um, you know, captioning and stuff. Remember, made by, good time, save the date, calendar, recorded, um, admit one, limited edition, congratulations, and then buy, a buy line. Um, so I thought that might actually be a fairly useful one. Um, trying to get it back into this handy little envelope is going to be, there we go. Um, mom likes using these, uh, the roller, mm -hmm. who makes this? They were stamping up. These I were think. stamping up. Um, so she's got some textury ones to use on her jelly, jelly plate. So, and these were like next to nothing, weren't a they? Dollar or something. These were like a dollar. Um, so yeah, I hand those back over to you because those, and then <laughs> they had a whole box full of like office stamps, like old office stamps, and some are brand new, obviously, right in the still in the package. Um, so. These are all, um, like this one says, can you see that? Entered with like a little, you know, little date bubble. And this one says posted. And we bought doubles of some because one for mom and one for me. Um, that one says paid. Uh, first class. Thank you, with a smiley face. Um, okay, let's open the bag. This one's 
file cup. Well, this whole bag I think they gave to us for three dollars. Was it three? I didn't think it was that much. Um, yeah. File copy. This is another entered with a with a date bubble. Um, a confidential. Yeah. Uh, another confidential, but in a different font. <laughs> a nice one. Well, that justifies it. <laughs> an Art Nouveau, or an Art Nouveau, an Art Deco looking paid. Oh, okay. kind of like that one. That one's really neat. Um, received mm. with a date bubble. Past due. <laughs> and then this one is another received one. And then it's got the red uh, date in the middle. And then it buy line. And you can change the date on the stamp. Right? And you can change the date on the stamp. Hmm. So that one's really cool. And then this one. Um, get some ink here. This one is an old stamp that is, a, I think it's an address stamp for a company. But it is done in script. So let's see if we can get it to come out decently. There we go. So, let's see, Campbell, Keepishin, and Hoffman Company, independent music production, hmm. 4122 Ventura Canyon Avenue in Sherman Oaks, California. Hmm. There we go. So, but I just thought that script was really pretty on it. And then we got this one, which is an owner's authorization. So, which maybe I didn't, that <laughs> I just not like. Uh -uh. Rocket, rocket. No, it's supposed to rocket. <laughs> oh well, that one's not stamping too well, but I'm not sure why it, why it's not. Um, I don't know if I just didn't get it fully inked or what. Well, is it a self? No, it's not. A it's self not a self inking, but it's stamped awfully red. Hmm. Oh, that's because it's got built up a red ink on it, probably. Yeah, so, so not sure, but I'll work with that some more. Oh, darker and lighter. Oh, I don't know. I think this might be a self-inking stamp in some way, shape, or form. Like, take a close look at that. There, It looks like there's an ink pad behind the stamp. Yeah. So I might have perhaps just ruined my oxide pad. <laughs> anyway mm -hmm. but um so those are those are all fun yep. okay now this is the hall of punches and die cut uh, dies and stencils and texture plates and embossing folders <clears throat> embossing folders oh <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that we got. <laughs> um, so let's see. We start out with some of the biggest ones here. We've got this one, which is a fancy, fancy label slash tag. This is a Stampin' Up. We got this one, which is a, a tab, yeah, page right. tab. This, is this a whale tail? I don't know. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm gonna have to look this up because this is a whale tail shape right here. So this this might be the coveted whale tail, but I'm not sure. I, I'm not. Sh I'm just not sure. No, me either. You need a um, piece of paper to cut it off. But it, it, if it is, we got it for three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know, you know. <laughs> um. Another fancy tag shape, um, 
stamping up. Uh, a miniature fancy tag shape. Can you see that? Is that, um, can I open this out of the, this is still in its wrapper for goodness sakes for $2 and 50 cents. There, that might be easier to see. There we go. Um, and then, let's see, this one, it's an oval. large oval, but it's kind of like a, it's a long and skinny one, um, which we didn't have. Oh, we have another page tab one. This, this one is the, is the round top one. So, um, we got another long skinny oval, but it's like a, more of like a slot style mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Um, so that's really, that's really neat. Um, a large scallop square, cause we had one of these at one point. I think I got, might've gotten rid of that one in the divorce. <laughs> Um, some gook all over that. A uh, large butterfly punch. I think this one's a Martha. Yep. Um, a larger size sprig, pine sprig, or twig. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Use your imagination. Um, snowflake. Uh, I got this one, a large star. I have a small star, but I don't have a large star. Large star. Those are mine. A maple leaf. And a smaller one. And a smaller oak leaf. And a postage stamp. And then onto the dies, we got a spellbinder shape abilities. Um, anemone flower topper set, which, I mean, we could use these separately as well. Cute floral set. Um, Tim Holtz decorative edge set. And the flowers, the tattered florals. Um, two seventy five. <laughs> Can you believe it? Two seventy five. Um, okay. And then we got, I get this whole stack of, these are all embossing folders and they were marked at $9 and 50 cents, which I mean, how many of them are in here? Let's see, one, two, three, I mean several, okay. So we've got, we've got hearts, we've got words, um, stripes, dots, anchors, bubbles, uh, another dot, uh, paisley, another paisley, uh, tree branch, kind of a floral circle. I don't know. Argyle, another kind of circle one. Um, this one is uh, Christmas words, uh, swirls, kind of a chevron print. Um, this one's kind of a, uh, as though you put texture paste through mesh tape. Mm. Um, this one is spirally branches with little birds on them. Um, this one is kind of splattery circles. This one I love, this is like a retro -y sunburst um, numbers. This is a floral. This one is a kind of a circular floral with snowflakes. So that's kind of a holiday one. Uh, bingo card, buttons more spiral kind of things. And then this one is a, what is that? Some sort of botanical branchy flowery thing. So yeah, a few of those I probably aren't, am not gonna use and I might re-donate. 
Um, but most of those I figured I would use. So I, and considering how much you would pay for one of these, I thought for the group that price was pretty good. Um, and then we got, let's see, mom picked this one up. This is a stencil. I put that up for you because I already have one. Oh, you already have? Oh, so I bought this for me. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be nice for the, for the gel plate and, mm -hmm. and stuff. So, and then I also picked out, um, this is marked at 10 cents for star stencil. I don't think I have any stars. And then, um, a uh, silk screen style stencil. Um, it's kind of wallpaper looking. Mm -hmm. It's kind of pretty. It's very pretty actually. It's, um, so that too. And then also um, a group of texture plates. So what do we got? Can I open this bag? I just picked out things I thought were fun. Okay. So these are all Fiskars, I think. Um, so this one's, we've got kind of a fish scale and um, almost like a very, very abstract peacock feather. This one's got kind of stars and stuff and hearts, wave pattern. Um, almost looks like little bird bird footprints um, <laughs> um wavy. wavy lines straight lines swirlies um vines butterflies and confetti um lattice and um stucco mm. brick and kind of a stone so that those are cool Okay, so our final category then is paper, embellishments and doodads, uh, and books and stuff. So, um, yeah. <sighs> so this one, packet of Stampin' Up! This is cardstock. It is white with texture. Not texture. Uh, the what do you call the speckles? <laughs> I'm you're, like, you're not that old. I'm like dotty. No, it's not. Um, I even took my supplements this morning. My goodness. The brain is off the leash today. Okay. Um, brown silk handmade paper, 25 postcards. So that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Handmade paper. Uh, okay, this isn't paper. Tan polymer pad for use with the wizard die cut embossing system. Yeah, I was having a hard time doing some embossing yesterday because I don't have a pad. So. Well, there you go. That do. So, okay. Um, yep. These are books. Uh, a from DCWV the Mariposa mat stock. Um, this is with glitter and foil. I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but um, or the Mariposa might be its no actual okay. name, but um, pretties now. We will say that their papers were overpriced. Yeah, we, well, not overpriced. Not overpriced from like the perspective of buying them new. I mean, they were well priced, but Hobby Lobby's having clearances right now. So compared to the Hobby Lobby clearance, they're not really that well priced. Um, and for whatever reason, like, I don't know why, like they're selling Tim Holtz dyes for like, you know, $2.50, but they're charging $5.50 for a pack of paper. It's weird. Um, so anyway, this one was marked down to $2 at least, but I, I really liked like this, this is me. <laughs> That's me, you know, so I was looking more for things that either I just don't see 
um, anymore, just stuff that was really, really my style. And I like, I really like these florals. They're kind of, they're kind of Asian-y, um, Art Nouveau-y. Would look, look really good in an Art Nouveau um, journal. So, um, and this one, textures and finishes, DCWV. Who sells this brand? Is that a Michaels or no? That's um. I don't know. One of the two. But this is a brand new pad um, for $5.50. But it was a special buy. So it was originally $6. So oh. we didn't really get it. <laughs> we didn't really get much of a deal on that, I guess. But it's a brand new pad and we're saving it from the landfill. So I guess there we go. Um, this one was really cool, though. This one is a burlap pack. Um for 350. So it's got some different prints on it and this is burlap that's backed with um a lightweight card or a medium weight paper. I'm not sure which, but it's, you know, like we'll be able to cut tags or maybe something out of that. That's cool. Um this one is kind of a theme pack was two dollars kaiser craft uh golden grove collection six patterned 12 by 12 double-sided papers two sheets of each design with extra bonus of stuff in it and i can't figure out how to open it extra bonus is die cut uh pretty thing pretty stuff so I mean it's all kind of sappy sweet but I like <laughs> the <flower laughs> I like the flowers and stuff no it's very pretty paper though very very pretty paper and it's yellows and green so of course I went right to it um You want me to put that in so you Yeah, right? Nobody wants this. <laughs> nobody wants to see you struggle with this, Erin. Um, okay, this one. Letterpress die cuts. 52 die cuts on two sheets. It looks like it's brand new and has never been used. Um, and this one's kind of grungy, vintage, maybe a little bit steampunky. So that was definitely me. Um, oh, these are... These are refill pages for a post-bound three-ring album. Mom said you were going to cut these up. I cut them up and use them for pockets or just use them for acetate. Yeah. That's a great idea. Cause it, so if you can't find acetate um, sheets, but you have photo album pages laying around or find them at the thrift store, that's an idea. Um... I remember you had a pad very similar to yes, this back in the day, and I absolutely flipping loved this paper. Um, this is just so gorgeous. So I will be, as a matter of fact, I've got a bunch of it right there in my binders that are, mm -hmm. um, and I was lamenting the fact that I did not have any more of it. Um, so yeah, this is just absolutely gorgeous. So um, yeah, I'll probably hoard this. <laughs> Oh my god. I'll probably hoard this. Um let's set those aside. And then this one, um, it's open, but it feels like it's all intact, like it hasn't been used at all. Um, this is from the paper studio. Um which is Hobby Lobby. Which is Hobby Lobby. Okay, thank you. Uh Meadow Knight 60 paper pack, glossy finish. 20 designs um oh it ha it's been used okay so they've somebody's used the feature out of a couple of the pages it looks like you know but um again this was something that i really liked the colors um and i liked 
I liked the style and I like the brightness. That one's really pretty. Um, that's really, birds. yeah, they're birds. <laughs> I could use all my bird stamps and make a journal. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> um, so yeah, Speaking I thought that of. was rather pretty. Um, so embellishments, we've got, we've got stickers, um, flower stickers. I found these bota uh, botanical, my goodness, Victorian stickers. Um, uh, we've got these, um, I want to keep saying they're puffy stickers. These aren't puffy stickers. They're dimensional. Right which is more sophisticated than puffy. <laughs> um, we've got, let's see, I picked these out. They're kitty cats with butterflies and dragonflies and little bows. Um, so those are, I feel like I paid a premium for them, but they're cute. And typewriter type keys, alphabet, and postage stamp teapots, and a laser, laser, label, like the punch label style words. I've got teacups and teapots, and I've got enamel dots in green and yellow. And let's see, what else? What else, what else for stickers? These aren't stickers, these are alphabet cork pieces. Little mini doilies. Tiny little banners with eyelets. All of these we bought. Um, these are, these are Stampin' Up, well this this one is me Stampin' Up Aluminum Vellum Circle, but then other brands, these are Stampin' Up also. Uh, these are gold tone vellum squares, rose gold tone or copper tone vellum squares. Um, I have more, I have more silver squares and more copper rose colored squares. Um, I got, what color is this? These are kind of like a very, very deep browny, blacky, burgundy with little tealy flex beads. Uh, green, some more green and some more green and some kind of topazy color and some pink. And a big box of beads. These are all glass art beads for $3 and 50 cents. Um, this one, uh, vellum quote stacks, 48 sheets of vellum quotes. So thought those might be interesting. Oh, I thought that was, never mind. Um, We've got uh, some square spiral paper clips. Those are fun. Um, wasn't there another package of paper clips? I don't think so. Hmm. I didn't see it. Okay. She picked up another one. Um, these are Creative Memories Divine Paper Flower pieces. We've got some ribbon and Christmas glittery rickrack mm. and a set of now technically these are Halloween but I looked at the design and nothing is over the top Halloweeny except for the ones that say happy Halloween and then like this one has a skull on it and then that one has a bug on it but really otherwise other than the colors they're kind of cool and then these, um, these are charms, metal charms that have different words and stuff on them. And then this one was, what was this marked at? 50 cents. 
50 cents. And then these were, these are all with like the prongs in oh. them. But some of these are pretty large and they come in, there's a ton of different finishes and, and stuff. So for 50 cents. Um, well, maybe not all of them have the prongs. Some of them might just be metal pieces, but yeah. So anyway, and for books, I found this set of, let me get them all the right direction here, uh, Beatrix Potter, um, books they're illustrated but they're small size so these will be perfect to just make little you know little tags or little these cards up too. oh those those are stamping up too okay. um so anyway oh this one's all this one's the black and white um yeah that one's kind of a mixture black and white and but so anyway, those were 90 cents a piece. And this one, um, Roots, Shoots, Buckets, and Boots by Sharon Lovejoy is just a cute little gardening book, but it's all, it's all on pretty paper and it's got cute little illustrations throughout and just cute little activities, um, for gardening and stuff so I thought this would be just absolutely pretty and I also think that the coloring of this would coordinate really well with Edith Holden um this kind of creamy yellow backdrop so um we'll see how how those go together um this is a children's book it doesn't say on the front who it's by um, it's called Dreaming, A Countdown to Sleep by Elaine Greenstein. Um, but the illustrations in this book are just gorgeous. And so I will be using those. <laughs> so these will make some, some beautiful pages, maybe even in my upcoming Celestial journal, uh, journal. So, yeah, just some be really beautiful illustrations in there. So, and I think the score of the day, other than perhaps the might be a whale tail punch, <laughs> um, is probably this box of, and I found this in a completely random section. It was kind of over by like the small appliances and kitchen stuff tucked over by some random office supplies. Um, this is a, like a index card box of plant cards, like care cards. Each, each of these cards has a photograph of, you know, a plant and, and care instructions on the back. But I mean, whether you just tuck this into a journal just for a random piece of ephemera, or you want to cut the pictures out and use them on something else, or you know, decorate, you know, back this with a thicker piece of card to make a um, journaling card for it. You know, I thought this was, this was really quite nice and gives us lots to play with. And it came in this handy little box. So I thought that's, <laughs> that was actually a really cool find. So um, how do you think we did overall today, mom? I think we did pretty good, especially if that's a whale tail punch. <laughs> We'd sell that online for a hundred bucks. Yeah, but we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun. We are exhausted. Yes, it, there were so many people there. It was just... Yeah, we are exhausted. So, but we are definitely going to enjoy our new toys. And you will be seeing the benefits of those toys through our videos and through our items in the shop. So enjoy. <laughs> you can enjoy our fun too.
All right, guys, we will see you next time. Bye.